Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are still going strong with our streak. Last time we had the very, very unfortunate time playing as Kane. We got a win, obviously, but it was... I think I aged. The stress that that gave me was was profound. Uh, honestly, yeah, that was, that was some tricky stuff. But we're playing as Dark Judas this time around. Uh, of course, this guy is... A lot more survivable in general. He's still not, like, guaranteed survival, but he's a lot more survivable in general, I'd say. Uh, and obviously... I'm sorry, a random cough came on, then I had to pause real quick. But, um... We do get, uh... I think we can do this right, yeah. Um, the free cash room entry, which is, of course, very, very nice. Uh, unfortunately, that is a very unlucky player there, but... Being able to grab both of them for free is really, really nice. Up to seven keys already. I think that's pretty tasty, um, and we can move along here. And this is, it's not that good, to be honest, this active, but it, it, it's, it's decent. It's decent. Get some burn spares going on. 10% chance the room wants to be a key, 10% chance for a bonus key from a chest into rock or destroying machine. I mean, we've not got anything right now, not that we need the keys though exactly, but why not take it? Why not take it? It's extra keys for us. As for the question of the day today, have you ever broken a burn? This pile of burns makes me feel burny. Um, have you ever broken a burn? I've only ever broken one burn that I know of. Apparently, people often break um, break their fingers and toes without knowing, so or like without it being super obvious. So I can't really attest for for that. But in, in terms of like normal sort of more obvious stuff, I've only broken one burn and. I got really unlucky, so I've only broken one burn, and I broke my collarbone, which is apparently the hardest burn in the body to break, and the longest taking to heal. Um, and apparently it's almost exclusively a sports injury, and I did it by falling over. Um, I used to, when I was going to secondary school, I used to uh, cycle up to my friend's house and then walk to school with him, so I'd like park up my bike at his house. And I was cycling to his house, um, and I arrived at his house, and then I, um, oh, I really want a, a bomb here. Do you know what? Let's see if we can buy a bomb. We've got enough keys to go in here. Um, yeah, uh, we don't need keys to get in here anyways. We can get a bomb. It's probably worth it, I think. Go for it. Um, yeah, I, I cycled to his house. I don't know if I just did it too fast or I didn't eat enough or what, what it was, but anyways, I got to his house, and the moment I arrived, I, like, knocked on his door. Um, and then kind of like rested myself on his windowsill and I was like, I just, I just felt like really faint and really off and my, my friend like came to the door and I was like, dude, I'm going to faint. I think I'm going to faint. I, I was like fairly sure I was going to faint at the time. Um, and lo and behold, like literally a second later, I fainted and I fell backwards onto his like gravel garden. Um, and that, of course, was not particularly good for my body because it was very hard, jagged stones. Um, so I ended up falling onto the gravel and I instantly broke my collarbone. And um, his mum came out uh, and she'd like tried to move me inside. And I was like, I know I've broke my collarbone. I, well, I thought I broke my shoulder. I was like, I know I've broke my shoulder here. It really fucking hurts. And she's like, no, 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 don't worry. You'll be fine. I was like, no, 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 no. I've not broken a bone before. I can tell this is broken. It's it's at least severely fucked if it's not broken. Um, we can do Dark Path or Mother. Let's do Mother for now because we've got a lot of um, keys. Um, yeah, I was like, this is severely fucked. <laughs> like, and she ended up moving me and like holding my shoulder, which, it, like in retrospect, I think from her position, like seemed like a good idea based on the pain I was having. Oh god. Oh god. How did I not get hit there? Um, but. Obviously was like the worst possible decision she could make because it really fucking hurt. Uh, and yeah, turns out I'd broken my collarbone and it took like two months to heal about. I was in a sling for about a month. It wasn't great. Um, guillotine, of course. No, no, no. Wow. Guillotine of the bean. Um, pretty, pretty piss poor choice there. Um, but I'm glad I didn't take guillotine. Because you know what I do every single time, every single time I take a guillotine. Every time I take guillotine, I regret it. And every single time, oh for fuck's sake, that was such a bad hit. I thought I had dark arts ready and I just kind of walked into that dude. Get gone. My bad. Did I accidentally pick up the keys that were in here? I don't know, I lost a soul heart either way. My bad. 
These foghorn dudes are rough. Take him out. Got him. Good, good, good. But not too bad. Spawns three hearts. Even one soul heart would be good. Sadly, not even one soul heart for us today. Um, but yeah, so it was it was like bad. I, I it took a really long time for me to heal up after that. Um, and it was a bit of a pain, bit of a pain, and like I said, quite painful as well. But I've not broken a burn since, and obviously with that being like the most painful one you can break and like hard to heal, I got really thrown into it, like a, a real sort of first-hand experience of proper burn breakage. Um. But I did get to miss a religious education exam, which I was very happy about. <laughs> it's literally on the day that I broke my collarbone. Um, we were supposed to have a, uh, an RE exam. Very glad I missed that because, goddamn, I don't know if I don't know if this is like this like in every country, but religious edu education in the UK is such a joke of a subject. Like it just it just means nothing. <laughs> like you get such a poor education of religion. Um, and it's basically, like, mostly about Christianity, of which most, I wouldn't say most people in the UK aren't religious, but no one that I know anymore, I don't think. I used to know a few people in school, but most people I know aren't religious. Um, or aren't Christian, at least. Um, what the hell happened there? I'll go, I, I know I've only got one bomb here, so it's a bit risky, but honestly, it just makes this fight so much quicker. I've bollocks this up a little bit. I'll tell you that for sure. I've created so much shit. And I've just trapped myself as well down here. Okay, I should be fine. There you go, we're good. Hey, we got a black out of this as well. We'll take the spoon, of course. And we'll keep on heading down. We need to save two bombs for the next floor, ideally. Um. But yeah, I don't know if it's like this everywhere else, but basically in RE, like, we'd learn a little tiny bit and then we'd watch, like, Evan Almighty, like, four times for some reason. It was really bizarre as a subject, I'll be honest. It was really strange. I don't really know what the curriculum was, if we just had a bad teacher, but from people that I've spoke to, pretty much every school had, like, terrible RE. It was never a good subject anywhere, and I, I really don't know why. Uh, Dirty Mind will take. I quite like Dirty Mind. Don't know why it's only quality one, to be honest. Means more poop spawn, which is good for petrified poop, obviously, but also they block shots and you can get some really, really interesting poops. Okay, that was very stupid of me. Don't hit my poops, please. <laughs> I love those enemies, though. Okay, we've got the bucket boys. I'm trying to use my dips as protection here. You see what I mean? Like, I can just sort of sit in them. I kind of got a little bit too close there. I relied on them a little too heavily. Um, but that, it, it works out. Oh, these guys are a pain in the ass. We've got to be very, very careful about the the falling detritus. Because it falls even after they're dead. I've got so much pennies. I'll go in here and check for a soul heart. There you go. Try and keep my health in check as much as I can. Failed a little bit on that. I got stuck on the bucket and didn't manage to kill this guy. I really like the boiler as a floor. Boiler's really good. We got the extra planetarium chance for coming down here as well. Uh, only for this floor. So it's not like great, but it's useful. Um, you, you got a chance to get a planetarium on this floor. Slightly higher at least. 21%. Good, good, good. Extra key. Okay, awesome. Managed to kill one of those guys. And two... Okay, let's be let's be careful here because there's a lot of shots about. Did that other dude not die? Wow, he must be really weak. Yeah, it was only two shots off. I make our way through. Nice. I like the way that there's like an AOE wherever you end the attack, for like the damage it deals. Are you firing steam at me? Is that something? Is that meant to impress me? Don't touch that body. 
We've seen that item room. I'm trying to do all the rooms though. Like with, with our streak being in what it is right now, if we're not going for boss rush, I want to min max as much as I possibly can. Now, unfortunately, so far we've got no bombs this floor. So mirror wise, we're not in a great position. Um, I guess we'll see how this unfolds as we go here. Surprised I didn't get hit there. I want to try and take out this guy before anything else. Unfortunately, I missed him. Okay, there's another body here, so we need to... Dude, steam vent guy. Okay, there you go. These guys are tricky. We got them. Still no bombs. Um, so it might look like we can't do mother. I mean, that's fine. We've got other options. We can go to the mirror realm first and see how that goes. I'll do my boss first, though. And see how that transpires. Might be able to get something good going on there. I mean, if we get an angel deal, we've got a decent chance at one. Oh, we can Dark Arts Cherry. That's kind of interesting. So, there is two bosses here. I don't know if healing this one kills both or what. I'm not quite sure how this works. It does not. Okay. There's quite a lot going on here. This is a really interesting uh, boss fight, though, I've got to say. I've not really seen all the boss fights in the boiler. Okay, this guy is is tricky. Oh, so he like gains power from going into the buckets by the looks of it. When he's uh, outside of the buckets, he like sort of dries out. Oh, dude, that's creep. Okay, I've taken way too much damage in this fight. We did get our angel deal though, nice. Um, and we'll take Job's family. Which I think is an item that works. Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Job's family's decent. It's not incredible, but it's decent. Okay, so we're just going to have to do the, the rooms um, as Ghosty Boy to try and um, see if we can get bombs. If not, we're going to have to go to the other floor and see sort of what we get from there on out. Right. Back we go into our mirror room. So Job's family should be good at dealing some damage. It does some stats effects and stuff. Okay, let's be careful here, because I've just whiffed this a little bit. So, okay, we've got we've got the damage to take these guys out fairly easily. Just got to make sure my Dark Arts does what I want it to. Oh god, I almost got that dropped on me. Good, good extra penny there, I guess. Still no bombs yet. Now that's risky. Gotta be careful for the spiked rocks as well that spawn from this curse, because they, they spawn pretty regularly. Still no bomb. Oh dude, Job's family is, is like up to our damage by quite a bit. Okay, so there's our first bomb at least. We've got one. Must have killed one guy there. And two. Yeah, I'm liking Job's family. I mean, I did wonder why it was quality 4, but I'm kind of seeing it now. It's doing a, a very, very good job. It's augmenting our damage quite heavily. Another key. Sadly, that's not a bomb. I've got a few more rooms to do here. I'm not going to do the boss again, because I'm just not confident in doing the boss at all. Um, I already got hit twice on him, and I don't know him very well, so... I think it'd be a fairly large risk to go for that. This dude spews like shit all over the place. It's crazy. Get all our poops going. Grab that. We got one more room here. We might have to go down to the regular floor for a hot minute here if we don't get a thingy this room. It's looking like we're not going to. Ooh, let's be careful here. Don't like the fact that this guy's surviving so so well. Okay, unfortunately we did not get the bomb we require. Um, I'll, I'll go back into the shop and check that and see if that is uh, a way to get a bomb. But otherwise I think we're going down to the regular floor for a hot minute and maybe coming back up to the mines if we get another bomb. Um, there's a sack here. I could bomb my don donation machine. Eh, it's, it's not it's not super reliable. Okay, we'll, we'll just leave it for now. We'll go down to the regular floor and then we'll come back up to the mines. Um, if we get the extra bomb. Where, where am I going? Okay, the, the the mirror realm confused the hell out of me. I always forget it's backwards. I'm heading in the wrong direction. 
But so far this run's decent, I would definitely like to see a damage up of some kind soon, because our damage is definitely faltering a little bit. Yeah, down here we go. We do not have the second bomb as of yet, but that's okay. But yeah, I'll say in the previous episode as well, I've, um, yesterday I went for a run and I, I seem to have quite badly injured my knee. I think I've sprained it or something. Um, so unfortunately, no more running for me this week, at least. Um, and it's, it's kind of aching a little bit. It's not, not as bad as it was yesterday, but it's, it's definitely still aching a little bit. So I need to be a little bit cautious on it. Um, and I think I'm going to go for a walk because apparently with sprains, you're meant to, uh, still exercise, just not vigorously. So I'm not going to do any running, but I'm going to go out and, uh, Go for, like, a light walk and see if that helps. Um, nothing much there I want. We're just looking for a bomb game. That's all I want. All I want is a bomb. I mean, to be fair, shop might have one. We've got five cent and we've got ten keys, so... It's not exactly hard-pressed for us to go to the shop right now. Nice. Good. good. Still got this little active here. I still... I'm unsure sort of what to think of this active still. It's like decent, but it's not great. Go dips. Oh my god. So many keys, game. So many keys. It is crazy. Been poisoned. Good, good. Child's heart. I don't think that does anything for us as this character, really. Pretty bad. Get ourselves a nickel here. Ooh, damn. The dippies. The dippy dippies. A whole room of these chaps. Hey, there's a second bomb. Lovely. Okay, we're good to go. Um, gold rope isn't particularly good. Um, but it's it's not, it's not terrible, and it does give us a luck increase, which is pretty good. We're also probably going to have enough here for a shop pull, uh, if we want to go to the shop. Just got to make sure not to use my bombs for a secret room or anything, because I need both of them. I always tend to do that. I'm like, oh, I finally got my two bombs, and I just use them on something straight away. I forget what I was doing with them. Oh, God, I've got myself very trapped here. I think we're okay. Nope, we're not okay. I misjudged where one of these enemies was. Honestly, the dips, as much as I love them, are slightly distracting. Hey, there's a third bomb. Got a bit more leeway now. I'm just going to buy the soul heart, to be honest. Um, if, I, if I get enough money to buy a membership card, then I will. Good. Luckily, even though our damage is low at the minute, Job's family, like I said, is doing quite a bit to augment our damage. There's like teeth shot in there, there's poison shot in there, I think there's a few other status effects that we can get. Get back here, you tyrant. Yeah, not too bad. Extra bomb. Dude, we're, go we're doing really well on the bomb front now. Also, Dirty Mind is plopping poops. Goddamn everywhere, which is very nice. Not get hit by these fools. How hard is it to kill this guy? Goddamn. Dude, damn. It's like, no bombs last floor, but this floor? All the heckin' bombs. I suppose we do, get we do have a look up now, so that could be... Could be why we're getting a little bit more. Yeah, what do you guys think of this character? I think this character is a lot of fun. He's definitely, like, one of the, oh, on the easier side of characters. Um, but I really enjoy him. Oh, there was a token in there. Didn't see it. Bugger. I always waste tokens. Should have uh, tried to play that a little bit better and uh, try and get a golden trinket or something. Right. Um, extra secret rooms, not super valuable for us. Shop-wise, I think I am going to get the membership card. It's not, like, amazingly good, and I'm, I'm not going to go to the membership card floor this floor because I don't have the money for it. But it, you can get some really crazy stuff. Like, I've seen people get, like, a 12-cent sacred heart from membership card. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go to the membership card floor this floor because if you don't have the money to make a purchase, it's just kind of pointless because it just takes whatever item you see out of the item pool. Like, it just seems pointless to me. Keep it going there. Remember, we're going to bomb through the door down to the next floor here. Now, this guy's going to be a little annoying. Luckily, he's the smaller version. Ooh, he also produced a red poop, which is pretty good for us, actually. We can just produce um, plenty of friends. Oh, 
Yeah, this is this has been very, very good for us. That was a very easy fight there. We did get our angel deal as well. Consolation prize is gonna give us range, unfortunately. I'm gonna go in here first to see if it changes my stats prior. Um, making a sacrifice is a 50% chance to spawn a friendly orbital ghost. The ghosts um now now drop eternal hearts instead of half soul hearts when they die. What? Well, the second line, the ghosts, did they drop half soul hearts before? What ghosts are you talking about? <laughs> okay, that wasn't a particularly good item, I've got to say. That's that's kind of a bummer. Um, we still get range and a few pennies. Not ideal. Nah, that floor was a bit of a dud. Yeah, th this this um, angel item, I, I don't think I'm going to get much use out of as a character that only takes soul hearts. They just sacrifice rooms just aren't super viable for us. So, it's not likely that I'm going to be sacrificing. I kind of like this idea of getting ghosts and they drop eternal hearts, I guess, but I don't really know what that means, I'll be honest. Like, does it produce a ghost and that ghost always drops an eternal heart? Is that what that means? Um, planetarium chance is interesting, but we've not got many flaws left for it to be useful. Secret room here, maybe? Booyah, baby. We'll pop in here real quick. Crawl space, nice. Ah, unfortunately, not the sort of guy we're looking for. Eternal Heart's nice, though. Not the sort of guy we're looking for. He would cost us three soul hearts a play, which is just insane in terms of cost for us. So we'll back away from that bad boy for now. Oh, Lord. Ah, bugger. We got another crawl space, but it'll just lead to the same goddamn place. So it's pretty useless for us. Not too bad on those guys. Ooh, baby. Okay, membership card was a good purchase. We're getting a lot of money here. Now this is an annoying room. <laughs> Thank God we were able to just use Dark Arts there. Because that room could have been really frustrating. Let's try and stay away from these guys. There's some enemies here that I don't know very well. Like this, I don't know what this guy does. And these guys underground seem to be quite small. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. I've got very low health. I know that for sure. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's try and find our shop real quick. I've got our item room to find as well, actually. I didn't realize. There you go. Beautiful. Um, Smelter for 10 is kind of interesting. We'll just take the random here. Angry Fly. We've really not been doing too hot on our item rooms, to be honest. Um, I don't think what we've gained so far has been particularly advantageous. Oh, bugger. I just stood right in front of that. But hopefully our shop here gives us something good. So we've got Buddy in a box, which is like a decent purchase if we can't get anything from down here. We got ourselves this. A slot machine spawns on clearing a boss room. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but I don't think it's particularly useful for us. We'll take our buddy in a box and a soul heart. I'm going to try and not blow up my donation machine here and just blow up these two. Beautiful. Lots of money there. Okay, good, good. What's the spinning coin do? I always forget. Three coins on perfect. First pickup costs one coin and one charge notch. On you spawns a spinning coin. Spinning coins ricochet um, tears into enemies for extra damage. Picking up a coin before it expires recharges one notch. Hmm. It will cost us money to use. But it's, it sounds like it would be better than our burn thing, I'll be honest. Ooh, it's got kind of an interesting charge bar. Wouldn't have expected that to be different. The sun card, of course, we'll take for the next floor. And I think we're going to zoom on out of here. So basically, as I understand it, it'll cost us one penny to use this. And it will um, produce a penny that spins around the room. We can knock it into enemies for extra damage. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Now, I, I do wonder how long this coin will stick around. Okay, it's, it's gone. I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this, I'll be honest. So is this only one boss? Is this just one huge room for one boss, or is this two? Okay, I, th I think this is just one boss. I know I'm taking damage here, but I want to kill this guy. 
Okay, actually, actually this was terrible. I took way too much damage, but I got some hearts out of it, so I'm, I'm okay. There was spiders about, and I didn't realize. Synth oil, I'm very happy with that. Um, ooh, and we're already at the point where we're going down to the next floor. I kind of forgot about that. Um, slightly annoying to get rid of the hearts we just gained. Would have rather have kept those, but we'll go down. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a big fan of this uh, active item, but I thought I'd try it because it was quality three. We do get Gehenna here. A little bit tricky. Two golden chests will pop open. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I know how to use this very well. Oh my lord. Pop our sun card here. Okay, we're definitely gonna need some more HP because we're not looking great right now. Ooh, we've got a thingy room over here. I want to go and do this rune room before anything else because they have effects that affect the whole room. Still, unfortunately, not on great damage. Synth oil was a little bit of a boost there, but I'd, I'd say it's not quite enough yet. Yeah. Splitting boys. I think we got them. Good. Don't like that room at all. That's that's freaky. Also, don't really know how this big boy works. Oh, butter, like that. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage right now. We gotta be more careful. I think it's also because our dips are missing. We took another hit there, lovely. Right, um... Dude, these rune shards are like in the way because I, so I can't fucking see the effect of this room. Shard, rune shard. I just want to know what the room does. Fuck. Destroy um, all rocks in every room. Guess we'll take that. Well, so far it's not destroyed any rocks, so this isn't great. <laughs> it's not destroying rocks at all. Did I do it wrong? Did I miss one of the, the things? Oh, I did. <clears throat> Idiot. There you go. Wait, what? There you go. Okay, good. I don't really know how I managed that, but there you go. We'll take the Soul of the Lost for a free devil deal if one approaches us. We're getting loads of shit from destroying all these. Uh... I like this. We've got a Mega Blast somewhere over here. Do I, have more, do I even want the Mega Blast? I'm going to do these extra rooms anyways, because it seems like we're getting a lot of stuff from Skulls and stuff here. Uh, wh wh where did I get this extra baby from? Is this bloody in a box? Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, it means that my Job's family is far behind in the queue, which I don't prefer. Look, Penny, rather nice. That is spooky to me, I don't like that. Go for our shop and stuff now. Please let this thing give me a black heart. Haha, -ha, half a black heart. Honestly, at this point, I might want um, duct tape here. Let me drop it and get my guys in position. And that's quite nice. Just means they're like lined up with me shooting now all the time, which is way more damage for us. Having a hard time killing all of you. Get out of here, goose. Right. Mega chest there. Sculpting clear. I have no idea how this works. Yeah, I, I, that that thoroughly confused me. Dude, I'm getting hit so fucking much right now. It's so bad. I need to get hit a lot less. 
Fettered Heart will steal. But yeah, health really in a bad spot right now. These enemies are really fucking annoying because there's just saw blades everywhere. What the fuck hit me this time? Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I'm getting hit constantly. And I accidentally bought that. Oh, and also the item that, that could actually be useful for us is on an island that I can't reach. That's fun. Why are these guys stunned? I'm com confused by this. Get the fuck out of here, boy. I'm going to bomb both of these. I need health so desperately right now. Come on, another single soul heart. This is not looking good. I'll be honest, this is not looking good. Oh, and of course we get a boss that I've basically fought once before and do not understand at all. Great. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm sure this will go just great. I don't know what any of this means. Fuck off! Like, what is this fight? I'm so confused. This might be the streak dead, I'll be honest. I don't- I just don't know what's going on. Like, where's the boss? Just- what- what is this boss? Is it just, like, it's just fighting minions, but it doesn't do any damage to her. Like, what is this that she's doing now? What the fuck is this? This is fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. That's so stressful. I did get a devil deal. Please, soul hearts. Please, soul hearts. Yes. And then we can use this to grab a theme for free. Ugh! God damn, I'm stressed out right now. Um. A theme's pretty good though, I'm, I'm liking that. Take that back. Make our way out of this hellhole. Don't know that mega chest was on an island, because I'd be able to open it otherwise. Right, down we go. Let me drop duct tape here and see if I can line this up a little better. Good. Got him basically on top of me now. Um, yeah, like I said, please end. <laughs> I don't like this room. I'm unable to really hit the enemies. And there's a big boy sat in the way the whole time. Okay, Thame, thank you for solving that for me. Good. Good. 
Good, good. Dude, I'm getting a bit pissed off with our item rooms, I'll be honest. Our item rooms have been goddamn trinity trash. What the f <sighs> oh, for fuck. Thank you. A soul half from one of those, finally. Oh, but I don't understand this room. I don't understand this room. What the fuck's going on? Who do I kill? Fuck off, ghost. Get out of my fucking face. This is too much. This is too much, man. That was insane. Why? This is... This is some hot bollocks. Fuck off with these ghosty boys. Actually get them out. This shop better be hot shit, you know. This shop better give me all I've ever wanted. Right now, health-wise and everything-wise, we're just not doing good. We got a tinted rock, but it's small rock. And it's on top of a spiked rock. I, I really like that game. Why? Why is it on top of a rock? Dude! Stop spawning spiked rocks. There you go, finally. Turn so rocks and poops into pennies. I guess I'll just use... Is, is this, does this room have a lot of rocks in it? Yeah, it does. Of diamonds. We got a decent amount out of that. Not... Not looking forward to the rest of this run, I'll be honest. I might not even do Mother at this stage. Like, this is just not looking good. Maybe I should have duplicated Small Rock there. Right, item room is trash. We still need Shop, though. Oh great, a bunch of these doofs. Wow, we game. I was really, really looking forward to buying a soul heart there, and you've done this to me, thanks. Get off my pennies, you dicks. This better have some, something good in it. Well, it has a black heart, I'm pretty happy about that. Pentacles. That's HP. I think I'll buy Pentacles as well. Probably should have bought Pentacles first. Oh well. Okay. What? Like, honestly, the, these runs are on this high streak have just been so goddamn stressful. Didn't trust myself to be able to get through this normally. Right, the question is now. Do I go regular path and just take the dark path? Because I've just taken the negative. Or do I try and do mother? I don't know. Damage wise, we're not we're not looking super great. This would be a long mother fight. I think I'm just gonna go regular. It's a bit of a bitch move, I realise. But I just don't think I have it in me. Because I'd have to, I'd have to fight um, the thingy as well, the other version of Mum's heart, the harder version. Also, just got walked into there because I was just, I don't know what I was doing. Apparently, when I'm on a high streak, my brain just kind of stops working very well. I just kind of walk into enemies that are super obviously dodgeable. If a theme could keep doing its thing and procking like crazy, I'd be very happy. I 
much. Remember, we're going dark path here. Oh, God. Holy shot. Holy shit, the shots travel on that guy. That's what we want, Athame. That's what we're looking for, baby. Not much there, to be honest. Could give us a soul heart if I bomb this guy. Did not. You gotta try these things, though. I've got to take every advantage I can. I'm trying to min-max, but honestly, the game's not really giving me much opportunity to do so. I should maybe be looking for secret room, but... On Womb, I'm really bad at finding secret room, I'll be honest. It's just such a large floor. Not a big fan of these guys. That triple shot bullshit and reforming bullshit. Really? This is the room we get here, is it? God damn it. I was really hoping for some black hearts in there. Or red chests for at least the chance at black hearts. I need more dips as well to block shots for me. I was really expecting that to be a soul heart on there then, and not have access to it, but just a golden key. Nice. It's great when a theme just clears a room for us. I'm trying my best to look for tinted rocks where I can, but I'm not seeing any as of yet. They're a bit hard to see on um, Fiend Folio Womb, but I do know what they look like, so... I mean, if I, if I miss any, do let me know, because that is the classic Isaac way. Nice. I think Secret Room might actually be um, here. Yeah, yeah. Soleon of Apollyon. It's not particularly good, but I'll take it. I'll at least save it for... Do you know what? I'm going to save it for um, for Mum. Save it for the boss fight. Because if we get a bunch of explosive ones, although it's dangerous for us, it could deal a good bit of damage. Right, there you go. We've got a, a, quite a few dips as well to go with us here. Explosive ones, what are you doing? Okay, there you go. We actually got a good bit of damage going there. Right, we have dark arts if we think we're going to get hit here, so make sure to use that. My dips are doing a good job keeping me protected for the most part here. Oh, still got hit though. Beautiful. No devil deal. No angel deal. Down we go. Ugh. Don't know how enthused I am about getting a win here, I'll be honest. I really need an item that I can dupe with uh, my modeling clear, but I'm just not getting that right now. Oh, dude! What the fuck? Oh my god, some of these enemies, man. Some of these enemies, my guy. I didn't think this character would be one that we'd have such a troubling time with.
King of Diamonds. Inflict enemies the Madness Touch, converts rocks into fool's gold rocks. Okay, that's not bad, but not great. This room isn't over and I'm not quite sure why. Okay, there you go. Honestly, I literally have to do this. And unfortunately, I do not get rewarded for my efforts. Man, these secret rooms have not been what I'm looking for at all. Same with the curse rooms as well. The curse rooms even be particularly bad. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Did you see? Did you see the yeet? The yeet on that spider? It lobbed it so fucking far. I tried my best. Like, my, my complete aim there was just to get, di like, distance so that if it was a spider, it didn't land on me. And instead, literally, fucking landed straight on me. Okay, these, these goddamn skulls get me all the goddamn time. I don't know what this roly boy's doing. Come on, chest. Just one ickle soul heart for me. Or an item that I can dupe and it'd be good. I think, I honestly, I, I've got to say, I think this is the streak over. Like, I just, I just feel like this is such a hard run to win now. Like, we, we desperately, desperately need some HP, like, right away. Dark Hearts can only do so much for us. Strength is good. At the minute, basically, my, my plan is, if things look scary, use Dark Arts, otherwise don't use it. Good, good. I don't remember what these guys do. Thank God they're dead. I think I can actually open this like this. Yeah, I can. Sadly, not very useful. I'll take a pill just in case. It was a tears up. That's pretty good. Right. Do I use my strength card here? I think I do. Three, two, one... Unfortunately, we got the fucking triples version of this guy, which isn't ideal. I think I'm going to get hit. Use Dark Arts. That's the way to go right now. Okay, just don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Hey, we might have touched that guy. I didn't expect that. There you go. That was a really good kill. Really good kill. Okay. One floor done. Unfortunately, I think we are going to lose that black heart, right? Yeah, we do, yeah. Right, we can dupe one of these, so that's good at least. That's probably a good contender right now. That's HP. This is tricky, because that's HP. But that is good damage and piercing. I think I'm going to take this, because it's HP. And that is a tough decision, I've got to say. Nice. 
Now we're hoping for chests to give us items that give us HP. Okay, this is going to be a rough fucking room. This is going to be a... Yeah, I got hit on the fucking first phase of the room. That's not even the fucking rough bit. This is silly. Like, this is stupid. Fucking end. What the? Who made this? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> it's good. That was horrible. <laughs> Even worse that I got hit on the easy bit. Oh, that dude dropped a soul heart. Oh my god, you beast. Item wise, we've not been too good so far. Oh, this this room could be so fucking good. It's already been pretty goddamn good. Okay, it gave me two soul hearts. I don't even care, that's amazing. Can I get to those chests? Do these shoot me? I don't know if these shoot me. Okay, I got a soul heart. Okay, health-wise, things are looking so much goddamn better than they were. To the point where I got hit there and didn't even really mind. Okay, it's boss time. Let's go for it. I'm going to use Dark Arts when we need it. Also, we've got a nice amount of dips here, some of which can do Midas Touch effect. Unfortunately, they're all going to perish pretty quick, I think. But they protect us a little bit, though, so that's nice. Bugger. Oh, that did good damage, though. Ah, oh, this, this thing's getting me stuck. Okay. Somehow, somewhere, we made it through that. Thank the Lord. Holy damn, that was tough. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.